107. We'll be heading out bright and early tomorrow morning, and we plan on being out for several days. So I want to double check our rifles before we leave. There's nothing worse than uncertainty when it comes to your shooting iron. I find like when I'm out hunting and I bang something, especially hunting rough country, like mountainous country or where you're hiking a lot, to carry that around in your oh. head, to carry that around in your head for a few days, it's just like, you're like, ah, I didn't really, didn't, I don't feel like it hit the skull. Yeah, and yeah. Our snipers deal with that for sure. Like for us with the, with, with your battle rifle, we almost, almost every, I don't know anybody that doesn't also have backup iron sights. Do you guys shoot when, when you're out, like doing patrols, you shoot often to test You do stuff? test fire before you leave oh, a you secure do? area. That's just standard. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, you might be in a, you know, if you're from time to time, we will be hidden in a place where that's not an option. I mean, maybe we're in no kidding, bad guy country, hold up in a, uh, you know, either a safe house or some spot that we've kind of snuck into. Noise. You're not going to give that away. But if yeah. you're on a secure compound, they actually have a spot set up. Like, you know, if we're doing a convoy with our trucks, we'll pull up our trucks. All the 50 cows or the big weapon systems are just going to go bup, bup, bup and just make sure they're dialed in. Just make sure you're not off and make sure that weapon's hot and ready to go. You know I mean? You can't, you can't ask your weapon to do its yeah. job and our job and have the results not be what you want them to be.